guys, welcome back on the channel and I hope everyone is great and yeah, today we again have a beautiful day so let's just uh, review this uh, Onstra Black Calf 2, let's go! The deck is one of the improvements that Onstra has made on this new version. It's now with 6 ply of maple, 1 ply of bamboo and 3 ply of glass fiber. It features a complete new shape with a bigger width for the front and back foot. You can find the Antra logo on the center of the deck, which has been laser cut directly on the wood. This new deck comes now with a matte paint, which is absolutely gorgeous, still the only 4mm grip tape, a concave that will help you to have better control with your feet. And yeah, the deck is definitely longer than the previous version. Look at the stance. The wheelbase is 99cm long on a 100cm deck. It will still have some flex, but not too much, definitely stiffer than the previous version. It felt definitely different because I was used to this short deck, but I think in the time I will appreciate more this longer deck for the ride. You'll find again the double kingpin trucks, Onstra Black Carve is known for his ability to carve and this double kingpin really helps to do that. Logo printed on the front and back trucks and the board will come with the trucks pretty loose so you definitely have to adjust them on your wishes. If there is something that I hate with those double kingpin trucks is that when you want to tighten them up you can only tighten the one which is on top with the T-tool and if you want to tighten the other one you have to untighten completely the top one except this non-convenient part I really like these trucks for what they offer you'll be able to surf on the concrete with some carving and overall an amazing turning radius look at this, you can switch off direction on a tiny radius they do come with 108 bushings, which will offer good stability at high speed, but I heard that they are in collaboration with Riptide bushing, which will definitely be an awesome feature on this board. The Black Carve 2 comes with the 115mm rubber wheels already mounted on it. These airless wheels are really comfortable on every road. From rough to perfect ones, you definitely won't feel some annoying vibration, even on cobbled stone. I never rode those before, I was only using the 120mm cloud wheels. Well, they are really soft and allows you to reduce the vibrations, but they do have a disadvantage. They suck your battery. Their 70A of hardness means they are super soft, so great for the comfort, not optimal for the range. The motors are those big 6000 watts motors. Well, this is the max specs. With the setup that you have with the battery, you only have half of the max specs. But trust me, they'll still offer plenty of acceleration. For all people who love the silent motors, you'll be fully satisfied. These are absolutely quiet. Even when you accelerate in brakes, you barely hear them. Listen to that. And for those who's asking if a direct drive board can climb hills, well, yes, and quite good, honestly. I was only on speed mode 2 and I could climb these big hills at 30 km per hour. After riding some kilometers with the board, I wanted to see if the motors got hot. Well, they were hot, but I could definitely hold them in my hand, so I don't think that they will hover it much. The skateboard still comes with the Obi-Wing ESC and remote. The remote has the standard shape with the acceleration and brake throttle, the LCD screen and only two buttons. You'll be able to set up the parameters of the remote and select the wheel's diameter and gear ratio, only for the belt version, for more accurate speed values on the screen. With the button, you will be able to switch the speed modes, Enable the cruise control and by clicking twice on it, activate the backward direction. And by the way, if you do like this type of video, and I know that you're too lazy to click on one more button, but make sure to give a thumb that really really helps me. And as I said, the ESC is very responsive, which means that you'll have great acceleration and brakes as soon as you roll the throttle. 
Having strong brakes is definitely an advantage and it really helps to stop quicker and avoid some accidents and will help you to even let cross the pedestrians that don't care about traffic. Depending on the wheels and setup that you have, but this Black Earth 2 will be able to have a top speed of 54 km per hour, so I really recommend to wear some protections and especially a helmet. With the rubber wheels, I reach 27 km per hour on speed mode 1, 42 on speed mode 2, and 46 on speed mode 3. I would have went to a higher top speed with the speed mode 3, but that was only my first time on this board and I didn't want to fall. 46 down, that's too fast. <laughs> That's fast, but I feel like very stable, you know? High speed isn't a problem on this board. I never felt any wobbles, even on speed mode 3. A new improvement made on this version is the enclosure, which is still under the deck. It features a brand new carbon fiber enclosure with the logo on the middle of it. Antra has improved the number of screws that you can find all around the enclosure. It now comes with 16 screws which will hold perfectly the enclosure on the deck. As the deck is stiffer and less flexed than the previous version, the carbon fiber enclosure will hold definitely better. This is the best spec that comes on this new black curve, the range. It now has a 12 3 p 15 amp hours with 50E Samsung cells that will provide a 648 watt hour battery. You'll find again on the bottom of the enclosure, the power button of the board and the charger port. If the range was missing on the first version of the black curve, now you'll have plenty to make longer rides. So yeah, I just uh, came back home from the first ride on the black curve too. And first impressions are pretty great. So I was able to do 36 kilometers uh, with the 115 rubber wheels. So it was 13 degrees Celsius outside. I got some wind too. And yeah, because of the low temperature, I think I just uh, lose some range. But 36 uh, is pretty decent. Uh, I think I will just uh, definitely have more range with the 105 millimeter cloud wheels. And I'll do a range test with some other wheels that I have in the future video. So let me know in the comments with which wheels you would like me to make a range test. The Black Curve 2 comes in three different versions, well, two and a half. The jerk drive version that I have, the belt drive version, and the belt drive version with 80 wheels. Prices start at $17.90 or 16.29 euros with the standard wheels, and of course rise up if you get more wheels. Prices went definitely up, but you have a new deck, a better battery, bigger motors for the belt drive, a one year warranty on your products, even two years for Europe, and a customer service that will help you no matter what situation you face. So higher price, yes, but higher quality too. The boards are shipped from now on for all non-European countries and will be delivered in the end of April for Europe. You can use my discount card that will give you 10% off your board, I'll just leave it in the description. So this board has every other board on the market as it pros and cons. I'll start with the cons. The longer deck is definitely great, but with the materials, it gets dirty really, really quick. And you can see some footprints on it. But it will only remind you to make more often a quick maintenance of your board. The remote still comes with the five bars that indicate the battery and you can have your real percentage of the battery left. So definitely annoying. But I heard that they are working on a new remote controller design with special features on it. The deck is longer, so if you've been used to the shorter deck in the last version, that may feel a little weird at the beginning, but you'll get used to it, don't worry. The design is now unique. You won't be able to see this electric skateboard on another brand. To all people who said that the Onstra one was nothing more than a Chinese copy which put his brand on it, well, now it's not. Onstra has its own designer, engineer, and always work on improvements for the next skateboards. I'm super impressed with the design, the materials and the look of the board. The all black electric skateboard looks definitely dope. The Black Curve 2 is now also waterproof IP65, which is definitely an awesome new feature if you get caught in the rain. Top speed is great, better range, new deck, the ride is comfortable. Yeah, this new Black Curve is definitely starting to take its place in the premium market. 
Let me know in the comments what do you think about this new version or if you have any question about it. I hope you enjoyed this new review. Make sure to subscribe, others videos are coming really really soon. Thanks for spending some time with me and I wish you a great day and have fun on your e-skate.